Okay, so if you want to go in to see some videos on how to use the thinking blocks model or the Singapore math models, then you can go to the bottom of the thinking block page. It takes you down to what's called Math Playground. After showing you some examples of what the examples look like, you can then go to Math Playground. It does have games in Math Playground, but Math Playground also has videos. If you click on the Math Videos button, you will then get to see all the videos that show you um, how to, these operate effectively. I mean, you can see there's different grades all the way up to high school math, but if you're looking at how to add fractions, you can then go to a video and it's going to show you an explanation before you do the practice. You add fractions with different denominators. Okay. For example, so if you want to look at specific videos of how the thinking box works, you can go into the modeling tool and you can see up top there a complete index of videos can be found at Math Playground. Then you click in there. And these are actually instructional videos of thinking blocks showing you how to do the, the model blocks the appropriate way. So for example, if you want to then um, add to fractions with unlike denominators, then you'll do add and subtract B. And it's going to actually bring you into the video that shows you how to do it. In this video, we're going to model and solve word problems in which we have to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. Bob the baker needs one half cup of water to make simple fudge cookies and one third cup of water to make sugar cookies. Okay, so this is essentially giving you a hypothetical problem and showing you how to use the models. You could actually plug in any word problem into this particular model and create your own thinking box. And as the video continues on, I'll have you watch those. It shows you how to use the different blocks at the bottom of the page, how to resize the blocks by moving the bar left to right, and how to make equal parts from the box. So once you draw a rectangular block, it'll put it in one up to so many blocks. And then you can also type in the label portion and actually type what you want the label to say. And um, I'm not going to continue to play this video because it's actually eight minutes long. But again, I'm going to show you how to get to these videos, which is a great page. You probably want to save this as your favorites at home because this is going to give you all those guided tutorials that you need whenever you're having problems doing your homework. And I, again, it goes all the way up to high school to do algebra. Okay, so we're talking about simple stuff all the way up to, you know, probably around second, third grade, all the way up to eighth, ninth grade math. Again, um, this, this will be a great place to put in your favorites. If you go back, and it's under the modeling tools, a red box here. And then at the top, a complete index of videos can be found at Math Playground. And that's where you'll find these instructional videos. Okay, I hope this will help you out this summer. And as you're doing homework and math the next school year, um, it's going to give you that visual representation of mathematics that many students need. Thanks.